In this video, we're going to focus on the Chart.js background color array. And basically, well, this is a part of the Chart.js background color series, which is a real beginner series for people who want to understand Chart.js uh, colors. But with the array, if you've seen just previously what we did, we basically create an array. But how do you create an array and what is quite important to remember with that? All right, so for this, let's go here to Chart.js and let's go here to the chart types and click on bar chart. If you click on this, you will see this nice color here. But if I scroll down here a bit, you will see here eventually the, uh, the background color, uh, name tag or name namespace. And then here, what we want to do is here to understand what it is. So it is scriptable and it is indexable. This here, indexable means it, it can accept array values. If it's not indexable, it's not allowed to use array values. So how do you know it's it will accept array values? Well, basically it's this here. If you go down here, or how to create an array by default, is here, whatever your value would be here. So let's remove this value here, and then just put in here these brackets. The moment you put in brackets, it creates an array if it is indexable. If it's not indexable, it's not allowed to create an array. It's as simple as that. So here we could change the colors. Let's say green, comma. Then here again, always remember if it's indexable and these kind of colors, always use a string quotation. Here we can do red, comma, blue, comma. Uh, well, we could do here anything. Pink, comma, yellow, comma, and orange. All right, so now we have six values here. And if we save this now and refresh, oh, let's see what happened. Of course, so what was the issue? We forgot to put in the comma here to indicate that there's a, uh, so there's no breaking changes because right now we break the change here because we didn't put a comma and the comma will indicate that there's still more values coming afterwards, which is correct. And there we are. So now, once we put in these colors here, we have a array of colors. And even if you would have more colors, it would be no problem at all. Even if we have more colors, while we do not have any more data points, it will not matter much. So let's say here, we put in black, comma, and then we put another one here, which will be brown. If I save this now, these colors will not, not be visible. Why? Because there's no data to support this. But if we would put in here zero, comma, zero, and I save this, nothing happens as well. Why? Well, basically, first of all, there's nothing to support, but also there's no item here. So let's change this here. And I'll just say here black. This is the label because the labels will be a key dependent, black and brown. If I save this now, refresh. Now you can see we get these items here. The colors are set, but it's not visible. But if we put in a six and we put in here a six, save that. There you are. So now the colors are being shown. And by default, we always get one red border color here because it is set here that every value or every bar will get a border color. And, and with this, you can create an array and remove an array. And of course, what you could do is you could reduce it. So you might wonder what happened if I reduce this? Well, you can do it like this, save, refresh. And now it starts to, to alternate these colors as well. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.